This thing supports 4K, oh yeah. But is that 30 hertz or 60 hertz? Let's find out. So I'll answer that big question later on in this review, but first off, Let's start off with some of the appearance of this little black box. So it's black and has some green accents, so that's cool I suppose. Uh, it has six HDMI ports, four of those of uh, which are inputs and two of those are outputs. Uh, it has optical audio going out and also H or, uh, headphone jack going out as well if you want uh, some external speakers. Oh, and uh, it also has that power connector. But why the hell is that power connector like cable so short? What, 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 you know, cut, cut costs in one area and you give us like a two foot cable. What is this crap? And also uh, a nice thing that would be on this device is like maybe some uh, mounting positions on the back of it. So you could like hang this uh, device on the wall, which I feel like would probably be a pretty high case scenario. Um, it doesn't have that unfortunately, but uh, it does have rubber feet to keep it from sliding around, which is cool. But yeah, it'd be nice if you could mount it on the wall, but you cannot. Using this device is pretty damn simple. I mean, all you do is you can hook up four HDMI devices, like maybe an Xbox, PlayStation, Wii, computer, cable box, pretty much whatever you want to really do, anything HDMI on this device. And then you have two outputs for TVs or monitors, which are of course HDMI. You can do like any arrangement as you want. So like you could have like, uh, like HDMI source two on both the outputs or you could have like one on one of the outputs and three on the other, really any assortment you want. And then you can change them whenever you want as well using uh, either the buttons on the uh, remote or the buttons on the box itself. Switching inputs can take a while for whatever reason, depending on what device you're using as well. But I have no idea what's up with that, but yeah, it takes a while. Um, also, like if you press the mute button on the remote, like sometimes just nothing works or uh, like, like it just like turns off and turns back on. It doesn't mute it. Uh, so I, I don't know, that's weird. Um, and also one feature I would kind of like on this device is picture in picture, which basically means like, for example, I have my Xbox video playing some YouTube right here of my awesome computer build, Why? which you should probably check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but anyways, so you'd be able to have like one input there and then like maybe like my TV input like in the corner or something. That'd be nice to have. There is no option for that on this. Um, but yeah, it'd be cool to have that in like the next revision. Oh, and here's the big question. Does it support 4K 60 FPS? No. <laughs> So yeah, I, I found out uh, the hard way, this does not uh, have HDMI 2.0 ports on it. I hooked up my PC to it, which has a, uh, gosh, actually it has a GTX 1080, that's what I have right now, uh, which definitely has HDMI 2.0 on there. Used an HDMI 2.0 cable on both the input and the output on this thing going to my HDMI 2.0 TV. And uh, yeah, it's it, it was capped at 30 FPS, which means it's HDMI 1.4, I believe, or something like that. Anyways, it's capped at, four, uh, uh, capped at uh, 30 FPS if you're going to do 4K resolution. So it kind of sucks. So uh, is this device really worth uh, the pretty good price tag on Amazon right now? Uh, if you have a really sweet setup, it can actually be worth it in my opinion. I mean, it seems like a pretty damn cool little box. Um, I mean, you can hook up several different HDMI devices and hook it up to two different TVs. So like if you have, if you're like maybe like a Twitch streamer or something like that, I feel like it would be pretty good for that kind of setup. Um, but you know if the setup's gonna work for you. If you have like two TVs or two monitors and you have a bunch of uh, uh, little bitty uh, or like, like Xboxes, PS3 or something like that, then it's probably a good scenario to do something with this device. Of course, adding 4K and picture in picture would be even better. So CS Ret, is that how you pronounce your name? I really don't know, but uh, you guys should add that in a future revision of this product because uh, this is pretty damn cool, nearly perfect in my opinion. Um, maybe the range on the remote could be a little bit better too because it was a little bit shoddy sometimes, but uh, overall this product is pretty damn cool. CS Ret, which gosh, am I pronouncing that wrong? I don't know, nobody's, nobody's corrected me yet and I just don't know. So CS Ret, C-S-R-E-T, um, they sent me this product for free, which is awesome, really appreciate that, of course. Um, of course, I, I didn't put any bias in this review. I don't put any bias in any of my reviews. I tested this thing out, used a HDMI 2.0 graphics card, still didn't work with 4K 60 FPS. 
That kind of sucks, and everything else works good, so it's a pretty cool product. We're watching some YouTube right now, it's working just fine. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for the product. Uh, I guess I'll give it away in a future giveaway. So if you guys are interested in this kind of product, if you guys are like Twitch streamers and shit like that, and find this thing interesting, watch out for a giveaway in the near future, and you could easily win this thing. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out this review. If uh, you haven't seen this video, check it out. That's, that video is actually doing really good, by the way, which is pretty sweet. Um, but uh, beyond that, thank you guys for checking out this review. Uh, if you guys didn't see the unboxing, there's unboxing in this, but uh, I probably shouldn't have mentioned that at the beginning of this video, and I guess I didn't, but whatever. Uh, if you guys wanna to subscribe to the channel to see more reviews in the future, Feel free to do that, and I have some base videos coming soon, hopefully. And I need to benchmark the GTX 1080, which I was talking about earlier. I need to benchmark that at 4K, because this is a 4K TV, so if I just took it directly up to this TV, it'll work at 4K. 60 FPS, of course. So uh, beyond that, thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, you guys have a crazy motherfucking day, and I'll see you later. Peace out.